I'm Diego Paez and I will present the work we do at EPFL for safety on crowds. What is a safe behavior for crowds? In mobile robots, how can we design and control for safety? In order to answer those two questions, we consider collisions, which are unavoidable when a robot and a pedestrian fail to acknowledge each other. On this work, we have created a simulation tool with multiple human agents and robot models. We start from the basics, which is forcing the two agents' path into a collision, then capture all possible collisions from multiple angles, capturing the areas that fall in contact in the human body and the robot model. An important feature is that we take into account multiple human models, as unlike industrial environments, we cannot control who is in reach of a service robot. It could be an older adult, a child, or a pregnant woman, and this does make a difference. It will result in collisions with more vulnerable body parts depending on the robot's shape and size. Proceeding from this, we analyze when such collisions occur, could they pose a risk of injury? Based on the known dynamics of the robot, we model the collisions with a mass spring on the robot side accounting for physical and control variables available for design. We can model the whole control loop of the robot and account for latency in the controller, in the sensing or in actuation. We illustrate the severity of each collision comparing them to data of pain thresholds for each human body part. However, we must be aware that this data won't hold as a safety metric because data is not exhaustive neither on the type of collision or the population, which means that elderly, children, or any other vulnerable populations were not accounted on available datasets. Nevertheless, this data serves for a pure comparative analysis of the robot's response to collision. We can now simulate the collisions and the post-collision reaction on the robot showing, for example, the shifting on the distribution over the pain threshold when different post-collision reactions are implemented in the robot. For example, emergency braking will yield the lowest impact forces. However, we must notice that this is not desirable in the context of crowds because it might lead to other collisions. If we, for example, have a force control loop in the mobile robot, we could analyze the effects of latency and actuation latency and other parameters in the robot design weighted against the safety criteria. For example, one could change the stiffness of the specific surfaces based on the contact estimations or implement a constraint on the operational speed of the robot based on the context in which it is operating. At this moment, what we propose is a methodology for assessing the safety of mobile robots when collisions are unavoidable. However, much work is yet required in modeling actual risks, like secondary injuries and probabilities of tip over in post collisions. Thank you for your attention. This is my short presentation, and I know it's a brief explanation of our work, and I hope I have conveyed the main message of how open is yet the question of safety for robot navigating in crowds. I welcome questions now.